Ant2.tv presents You and Your Doctor, teaching you to live a longer and healthier life. Proudly sponsored by All County Healthcare, where people are the heart of our business. All County Healthcare is a Medicare certified agency where one call will service all your home care health needs. For more information, call 954 717 7027 or visit our website, allcountyhealthcare.com. Now, let's get informed to living a longer and healthier life. Here is your host for today's show. Welcome, my friends. We're back here again in the studio. And the COVID looks like we're getting a hand on that COVID. I hope you're all obeying the rules. Wear your mask, wash your hands, social distance. And I'm so happy that we've got a new vaccine out. We got a vaccine by J&J. We got the Pfizer. We got the Moderna. So I hope you're all taking that vaccine. No matter where you live, where you, where you are, make sure you get that vaccine. I got my shot the other day. 28 days ago, I'm getting my, other, my second shot on the 4th. I don't know how it's going to come out, but I, they tell me, you know, some people say it hurts, some people say it doesn't hurt, but no matter what, I'm getting that shot. So get your vaccine as fast as you can. Thank God we're getting a, all these companies are coming up with thousands and thousands of doses now, so everybody should be covered. Hopefully by the end of the summer, everybody in this country will be covered. You know, we have a very special guest tonight. He'll be on very shortly, but in the interim... There he is, David. Welcome, Lou. Doc. Thanks for having me. Appreciate hey, it, Doctor David Busses, uh, uh, orthopedic surgeon. Tell us about yourself, Doctor Busses. So I'm currently practicing in Boca. I'm a sports medicine trained doctor. Uh, pretty much see and treat everything, and then anything uh, that would require further specialized treatment, more specifically in spine, I would refer to a spine specialist. Now, you moved to Florida just a short, a short time ago, but how long ago have you been in Florida now? I started practice here in November. In November. So listen, he's looking for patients. He's a great young physician. He specializes in a tremendous amount of things. Arthritis. Tell us about your idea prior to surgery or when you, before you do surgery that everyone doesn't have to go to surgery because a lot of people get scared. If I go see the doctor, he's going to operate on me. Is that true in all cases, Doc? No. So it would have to be, uh, you'd have to get evaluated to make sure that whatever the problem is, it's uh, treated appropriately. Many times in orthopedic surgery, especially for arthritis, uh, the treatment options um, that are non-operative are attempted first. And then if and when those fail, that's when surgery would be considered. Now, would you send a patient to... Uh therapy prior to try to get an MRI or, or, or the knee or anything like that or would you get the MRI for us prior to going to uh, rehab doing rehabilitation uh, so it, it depends on the circumstance if it's a problem that's been there for a while if there's arthritis there uh, typically the insurance companies uh, would not approve the MRI unless they've tried therapy so like I said if it's something that has been there for a while usually it's therapy uh, anti-inflammatory medications, possibly even injections, and then if that fails, then uh, an MRI going from there. Now, I see, Doc, that you do a tremendous amount of different types of, of care for different types of parts of the body. Shoulder, knee, hip, rotator cuff, ACL tears, meniscus tears, bicep. You do it all. Now, you've been trained to, do, much. All, you've been trained to do all that, correct? Correct. Now, how many do it all except... I'm sorry, how many, how many years have you spent studying, Doc? Uh, so four years for a bachelor's degree, four years of medical school, then uh, five years of residency, and another year of subspecialty training after residency. Boy, God bless you. That's a lot of years. And, and now, you, yep. now you've moved to Boca with all he's, – he's young. Let me tell you, I, I talked to David about a month ago, and I can tell you right now, he's young. He's aggressive. He knows his business. He also figures that, hey, I just came to Boca. He's building his practice, slow but sure. You try to get him a lot of referrals. And as a result, David, have you seen, you're located now in Boynton, David? Doctor? Uh, so I'm in Boynton maybe once or twice a month. Uh, the other clinic is located uh, in Boca Raton on Glades, just south of uh, FAU. And if you want to reach him, I think you can reach him at this phone number, 561 391 5515. 
Now, let's say a patient went to another phys- another orthopedic surgeon and he wasn't happy. Could he come to you for a second opinion? Uh, yeah, they can come to me for a second opinion. If I see them, they can go to another doctor for a second opinion. Uh, you know, I give my opinion for each individual patient depending on what I see and what the history is. So I'm open to, you know, you know, if any patient has any other questions, they can always come see me. If they saw me and they want to see another doctor, that's also an option as well. And the insurances, you're taking Medicare and you're taking other, other plans too, correct, Doc? Uh, correct. So on the website, it says all the insurances that I take. Uh, I think pretty much I'm uh, credentialed with all insurances, so um, that shouldn't be a problem. So he's credentialed with all the insurances. He's got a tremendous, tremendous background. He's uh, basically uh, you're at Wayne State University, am I correct? Correct. Did my training there for undergrad and for medical school. And now you're from the you're from the Michigan area. Yep, uh, Wayne State is in Detroit. Wayne State, and then he moved. He, now, you, where is your your other office is located? Is it located at Six Sixty Glades Road, Doc? Correct. That's the main main office location. And he's with the Boca Raton Orthopedic Group. Am I correct? Correct. And there's a number of physicians in that group. Another ortho, number of orthopedics. So, if you had to refer someone, you could always refer them to some another physician. Am I correct? That's correct. But I don't think you have to refer anybody because you got all the specialties. If you need a shoulder, he's there. If you need a knee, he's there. If you need, if you got a torn, which I have, I have two torn uh, meniscus, which I've had for a lot of years, and I'll tell you, they're painful. And I should have got it done years ago, but I didn't. I waited and waited and waited. And now, you know, it gets, it gets a little worse. So my suggestion is if you have a bad meniscus, go and see the doc, let him look at it, Maybe he doesn't have to do surgery. Maybe he can just do some exercise to get you corrected. Could be arthritis. Doc, do you see a lot of patients with arthritis? I do. I see lots of uh, arthritis in my clinic. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have a uh, arthritis for a knee uh, that I'm doing a knee replacement on Wednesday using robotic-assisted surgery. So during surgery, I'll have uh, there's a computer algorithm with a robot that I use to program. So each individual knee and the deformity associated with it, I pre, pre-template and put that in the, in the computer, and then I determine where I want to make the cut so that way I can get the most ideal type of outcome I, I can get for a knee replacement surgery. So, so you're familiar with robotic surgeries. Tell us about robotic surgery versus conventional surgery. So robotic-assisted surgery is another tool that us surgeons have. Um, the surgeon performs the surgery, and the robot is there to assist. So before surgery, uh, after everything that's non-operative has been exhausted and the patient still has pain from arthritis, uh, then they would get a CT scan, and that uh, illustrates or shows the exact deformity and the shape of the knee. And then based off of that, the surgeon can determine where he wants to place the cuts for the knee replacement to get the most balanced and the best-sized knee uh, for the ideal outcome. Now, so it's patient-specific. It's patient-specific imaging, and then you use a robot to assist you while doing a surgery. Now, there's through a lot of orthopedic physicians now, are the newer ones using robotic, or, or are the older ones just using the old conventional system? Uh, I mean, it depends. Uh, each each surgeon uh, does what you know the best results that they get. Uh, like I said, uh, total knee replacements, total hip replacements, these have been done for a long time without robots. And this is, like I said, an, an extra uh, measure or an extra tool that we have to try and optimize the outcomes for patients with uh, with knee replacement surgery. Is the healing process faster with robotic surgery than conventional? Um. In my experience, patients typically do a little bit better with the robotic-assisted surgery. Uh, however, the literature long-term uh, doesn't show any difference as far as uh, the recovery. Um, but it does help, like I mentioned before, if there's any deformity within the knee. It helps with uh, planning the surgery to make sure that you're putting the implants in the right position uh, to have everything be balanced out properly. How long do you feel, Doc, that a person goes through surgery before the knee or the hip takes before he can start performing his regular duties again? Playing golf, uh, well, hip, exercise? Uh, usually I would say for a total hip, uh, a couple weeks. 
Uh, for a total knee, you know, it depends. Uh, some patients can take a little bit longer to recover, uh, but I say, you know, within a couple of weeks to a couple of months, they should be good to return back to golf. So you can do a total hip, and he can recover in a couple of weeks. He can get out there, and he can pot chip around with his golf clubs and etc. And and yes. a knee might take a little longer, but listen, isn't that amazing? In in two weeks with a new hip, you're out, you're putting around, chipping around with a golf club or whatever your sport may be. In a knee, he says a couple of weeks or to a, m- a month, you're back to normal again. Now, it, when you do a knee or a hip, Doc, is there any chance that that patient has to, when he goes through therapy, he must really do his exercise? Am I correct? Yes. So you do therapy beforehand. Uh, a lot of times I prescribe therapy for osteoarthritis just because, along with the arthritis, patients are also have some weakness or deconditioned muscles. And a lot of times reconditioning the muscles helps improve the pain that's associated with the arthritis. It doesn't fix the arthritis. It doesn't regrow cartilage inside the joint, but strengthening everything does tend to improve the pain that's associated with the arthritis. So if you do the exercises and you rehab it and 80% of your pain is better, well then you know we potentially delayed or avoided surgery. So it's always a good thing to do uh, therapy ahead of time and if it helps improve the pain, then you delay surgery. So it's, it's always therapy for arthritis uh, is, is attempted first. Uh, and then if and when that fails, then you know injections, uh, medications, and then considering surgery once that all fails. We're going to get right back to David Bussas, the MD, orthopedic surgeon, after this brief commercial. David, just stay by. We'll be right with you. Great. Will do. Getting older is not for sissies. That's what one of my patients says. And it's funny, but it's true. Live long enough and you'll get arthritis, skin cancer, probably one of the common chronic diseases like CHF, COPD, diabetes. At Old County Healthcare, we teach you how to manage your disease. We make sure you know how to take your medications and how to recognize signs and symptoms before requiring hospitalization, no matter how many visits it takes. You didn't move to Florida to be sick. You moved here to enjoy the rest of your life. And that's exactly what our team of nurses, therapists, and aides at All County Healthcare help you do. All County Healthcare. All County Healthcare has exciting news for any and all patients with COPD or other respiratory ailments. Listen to what renowned pulmonologist Dr. Keith Robinson has to say. Hello, I'm Dr. Keith Robinson, board certified pulmonologist, medical director at Fusion Health Pulmonary Rehabilitation, and a board member with the American Lung Association of South Florida. We have exciting news for patients with COPD. We now offer IPV therapy at home, which has been demonstrated to improve airway clearance, decrease hospitalization, and improve quality of life of patients with COPD. Please call All County Healthcare for more information about this FDA approved therapy. For further information, call All County Healthcare now at 954-717-7027. That is 954-717-7027, or visit our website at allcountyhealthcare.com. You can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Remember, All County Healthcare always puts the patient's needs first. Ben, with All County Healthcare, you know how I know that I've done a good job? We say goodbye. After you understand the medications you take, once you know that gaining two pounds in a day means you should call the doctor, when your wound is healed, when you can use your nebulizer all by yourself, when the goals that you and your all-county healthcare team of nurses, therapists, and aides established are met, we say goodbye. Very nice to meet you, and I hope I never see you again. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. You are listening to You and Your Doctor, Living Longer and Healthier, an informative show that helps you find answers to questions you always wanted to ask but did not have that somebody that could make a difference in your life. Call into the show if you have a question at 888-565-1470, and we will put you on the air to inform all our listeners. Now, 
back to our show. Welcome back, Doc. That was a brief little intermission we had. We Again, if you just joined us, we have Dr. Busses, an orthopedic surgeon who's recently settled in Boca. His phone number is 561-391-5515. He's, loaded with, he's located with the Boca Orthopedic Group. And Doc, i got to ask you a question. Maybe it's a crazy question. When should a person come to see an orthopedic surgeon when he's feeling pain in his knee or pain in his hip? You know, a lot of people just hit, wait, 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 and wait until it's too late. So tell me some of the things that you think a patient should look for before he comes to see an orthopedic surgeon. So if a patient is developing a pain, question? whether that, that's an absolutely fair question. I get it, get it all the time in clinic. Uh, so if a patient's having pain, um, if it's not related to any injury and it's occurring over time, typically patients, you know, try remedies on their own, usually some aspirin or maybe some Motrin. Uh, and then they say, well, I'll just give it some time, see if it heals itself. And then, you know, that'll be an issue result. A lot of times it's with patients have pain, say over a couple of weeks, it's not getting better. Then they're like, all right, well, something's going on that I can't manage on my own, so I want to go see a doctor. Uh, is there ever a time where you can say I'm having pain and I scheduled a visit with a doctor and it was unnecessary? I mean, you don't lose anything by having the opinion of a doctor, uh, even if it's not something major. Uh, there's no, no loss on your part besides taking the time to go see the doctor. So if there's any pain, any issues that you have that are concerning, uh, there's there's no reason to not see a doctor besides, you know, the inconvenience of having to go in and, and take the time out of your schedule. With COVID now, a lot of these people are saying, oh, I'm not going to go to a hospital. I'm not going to see the doctor. That's what COVID is. I'll get COVID if I go to see the doctor. Now, I'm sure you're still performing your surgery. You're still going to the hospital. And would you say it's safe for a patient now to come in if he has to get surgery to get it? Uh, so in our clinic, we have, we take precautions. So we do everything that we can to uh, make it as safe as possible given the current circumstances that we're in. So we do maintain social distancing, we wear masks, we frequently sanitize our hands to try and you know, be as cleanly as possible to decrease the risk of, uh, of transmitting COVID. Um, but I, I understand that is a real risk and with time is where people are getting more uh, vaccines and they're getting vaccinated, obviously, you know, goal is to have everything return to normal, but we are maintaining uh, everything that we can to try and uh, be as safe and, and take all the precautions that we can with regards to COVID. Now, you received the vaccine, correct, Doc? I'm sure you did? Yeah. Okay, so you received. Now, let me ask another question. Can this surgery be done on an outpatient surgery basis, or it has to be in a hospital? Like in so the, the surgery, the majority of the surgeries that I do, including total knees, uh, they're done outpatient. Outpatient. So it's an yes. outpatient surgery. So they can go home almost the same day, correct? Correct. They go home the same day. So now, if the patient says, you know, I, I don't want to go to rehab therapy, can they get home therapy with their services? Uh, they can. Uh, there's different companies uh, that can come by to the home. It depends on the insurance that they have. A lot of times, uh, insurance does cover home therapy, uh, and if that's something that is uh, required, then the orders place and the companies would come by with a therapist and work with the patient in home. Well, that's where I want to make a plug for All County, because All County is one of those companies that provides home therapy for physical therapy for either hip or knee, whatever that may be. Uh, and if you, remember, if you need home care, it's your choice. It's patient's choice. Patient's choice where they want to go. So if you, if you feel about us, we have a four and a half star rating with Medicare. And I really suggest, again, if you're looking for some good home therapy, call All County Healthcare. Now, Doc, other than that, what, uh, what ages do you feel? Uh, you feel that a certain area of ages 50 or over is getting knee problems or hip problems at a certain age? Or is it a younger age? I know you, you've done a lot of sports teams. Am I correct? You work with the NBA? Uh, yeah, so I, I uh, provided coverage last year for the uh, Pelicans. I was one of the doctors assisting uh, the doctor that was covering the team. Um, I also worked with uh, college and high school athletes as well. So I saw a range of different level athletes uh, that participate in the care of, of, of these athletes. So um, as far as... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
as far as me training patients, I see from, you know, eight years all the way up until 100 years. So anywhere in between that, I see patients and I treat them. And just because you're not an athlete, say, for example, on a, you know, a sports team in a competitive league, doesn't mean that you don't have sports-related injuries um, if you play sports once, you know, on the weekends. So just because you're not, you know, a high-level competitive athlete doesn't mean that any problems that you have should not be addressed. So imagine, imagine our listeners. This, this young doctor has been working with the Pelicans, where the players are making 18 million, 20 million a year, and they're trusting him with their knees and their hips and their ankles. Guess what? That's the guy I want to go to. If the Pelicans can say, listen, are these good enough for our players that we're paying this kind of money for, that's who I, would, I think I want to try out. So, David, tell us a little more about what you feel as though a patient should do as far as overweight, you know, diet. Would that help get, take some of the stress off the knees and the hips? Yes. Yeah, so every time a patient comes in and they have questions, what can they do uh, besides the exercises, besides the motion or the oral and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, a lot of patients, if they have extra weight, it would help with the arthritis pain that they're having. So the knee sees around four times what your upper body weight is. So if a patient loses one pound, that's four pounds less than your knee sees. So every pound does make a difference, and that's less pressure that's going through your knees that would be aggravating your symptoms and causing more pain. So, so weight loss is, is, is like recommended that. for weight loss is recommended for a lot of patients um, if they're overweight because taking that one, two, three, four, five pounds down can help tremendously with the knee pain. Say that again. One pound that you lose is equal to so, four pounds of pressure on your knees? Yes. Correct. So if you're carrying around 50 extra pounds or 30 extra pounds, you're putting a lot of pressure on those knees. Exactly. That's me. <laughs> I, was, I just <laughs> lost 35 pounds, but I, I, I didn't realize how much that amounted to. So if I lost 35 pounds times four, right, I took almost 140 pounds off my knees. Yeah. How do your knees feel now that you lost the weight? I got to tell you, they feel better. <laughs> <laughs> I got to lose another 35, so maybe I don't. I, I won't walk around with a limp, and I can play golf. But that's an amazing Solid work, thing. Luke. <laughs> so, if you people out there listen to what he just said, I think this is amazing. One pound of weight equals four pounds of knee pressure. So imagine how much you're overweight and how much your knees are suffering, and your feet and your knees, etc., and your hips. So, you know, that try to let's lose that weight. But, you know, if you go see him. And you're obese, he's going to tell you to lose some weight. So, Doc, again, your phone number is 561-391-5515. And how, how long would it take for them to get an appointment with you? Uh, usually within the week, uh, I have enough openings that I could see a patient. So within a week, you'll be seen. Some of the procedures, Doc, that you do, I understand the road cut repair tool and reverse shoulder arthroplasty I can't pronounce arthroplasty uh, arthroscopy shoulder arthroscopy what does that mean uh, so total shoulder arthroplasty is exactly like uh, a, a hip or knee in the sense that it's a replacement for arthritis so you can get arthritis in your shoulder just like you do in your hip and your knee and once non-operative treatment options have failed the surgical option would be a replacement where we replace the arthritic joints in the shoulder well, Doc, we got a, we got a few minutes left. Let me ask you a question. Do I have a minute left? No more time left. Doc, it's been a pleasure with you again. We must have you on again because you're fantastic. I love what you talk about. And, again, if the Pelicans can want this guy, I'm sure, heck, you want to go to him. Thanks, Doc. Thanks for coming on. Have a wonderful evening, and stay safe. Thanks for having me, Lou. Appreciate it. Thank you for letting us share with you a longer and healthier lifestyle. If you have a doctor or are a doctor and wish to be on the show, call Amp2TV at 866-244-5422 and we will put you on the air as soon as possible. Tune in next week for more information on living longer and having a healthier life.
The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers.